Sean Sewell with ingearmit.com. These are the North Face Brigandine bibs. Highest end bibs from North Face, and they might just be the highest end bibs I've tested. And that's saying a lot because after the last seven years of testing pants and bibs for backcountry skiing and splitboarding, I've come across quite a few great ones. Let me go over the features, fit, and function on these to give you a little inside scoop on them. First of all, fit and sizing. I am six foot one, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 32 inch on the inseam. These are a size large. I'll step back so you can see. They are a really, really good fit. They're not too baggy. They're definitely not too tight. There's no restrictions in range of motion, which is great. Keep an eye right there. My beacon's right there. The pocket's perfect for that. There's also a pocket up here, good for the beacon. No restrictions in range of motion. Doesn't hit the knee. Awesome. These are very adjustable too. So um, if you need to draw the waist out, you can. If you need to draw it in, you can as well. There's a built-in belt right here, really easy to use. And then you can tuck the fabric away. Awesome. If you need to lengthen the torso or shorten it, very simple. I've actually never seen something like this before. There we go, shortening it. And there we go, lengthening it. And then of course this cable, you know, there's plenty of adjustability and it just tucks away nicely into that pocket right there. Really thoughtful layout, right? All right. So sizing is adjustable. Uh, the, the bagginess or lack of bagginess is ideal for touring, for backcountry skiing or splitboarding in my case. And um, I really like the way they feel. The pocket layout is among my favorite of anything I've ever tested as far as uh, bib wise. Start at the top. So we got two sizable pockets right here. Very, very large indeed. This one right here has a elastic pocket that is great for a beacon. Um, although I keep my beacon in the lower pocket. So it's nice to have two different places with cord management. There's, you can attach your leash right there. Uh, you can put your radio here. Um, how I use it is I put my action camera or phone right here, and then I put my beacon down here, try to keep as much space from them as possible. Very nice material, easy to use zippers, soft shell material right here, very soft against the skin. Next pockets up, we have our right around hand pocket level. Really great place for truck keys, and then of course snacks. And they, I stuffed these guys full and they did not really get my way. Didn't affect my hip flexors, hip flexors when I was touring. Easy to use with gloves on. And then of course, these pockets, they're the same size on both sides. Even this one has another cord management system. Really thoughtful attention detail from North Face. And then this one has an elastic pocket that holds that beacon in place really, really well. And like I mentioned with this pocket, there's a loop, there's a loop, there's a loop, there's a loop to attach for the beacon so you keep your core management in place. I like the lower pocket just so I can get out and practice a little closer to the ground. To each their own though. Whatever you do though, I'd recommend not putting anything else in the pocket that has a beacon, just as safety's sake. Ventilation. There's a lot of ventilation options going on here. I really haven't had to test them though because this future light material does breathe that well, but I'll show you the ventilations anyway. Side access right here, there's two zippers. It is mesh backed. And um, that way you can lay up however you want the ventilation right there. This side access goes all the way. So you can definitely open up, take care of business if you need to. And then finally on the inside, you have two mesh backed ventilations right there. I really like this option and I'm sure I'll use it here as the temperatures get warmer as I get later into spring and early summer for tours, but honestly, I haven't had to use it quite yet. Just saying quite a bit. You might've heard the material. So in the Future Light um, Freethinker from North Face Jacket review, I was gushing over the quietness. These aren't quiet and that's okay because the materials they use are really robust. We're talking 75, 100, 150 denier and 500 in the kick panels to keep your edges from cutting through the, the pants and the bibs. And then within it, Hopefully you can see this cross pattern going on. That's Spectra material woven in. So these are really, really tough pants. Um, they're gonna last a long, long time. So 75, 100, 150 denier, those are typically thicker and heavier materials, but for some reason they're not in these pants. They're very lightweight and pliable. Making it great for one, saving weight, good for hut trip, good for self-supported missions, and they pack up a lot uh, easier than a thicker material would. So I don't know how they made it those densities, but made it lightweight. It's really good stuff. So hopefully this overview and review was helpful. So you can see a sizing fit function layout of these. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll get right back to you. If you found this helpful, 
give us a thumbs up. If you enjoy this content, and I really hope you do, um, consider subscribing to the channel. It supports us in a big way. And looking at analytics, 97% of people aren't subscribed. That's 3 million views last year that weren't subscribers. So if you want to support the channel and see reviews like this and interviews, um, subscribe. It'll be fun. Fun for all of us. So Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engagement.com. Until next time, take care.